All right, moving further. Shifting focus to the U.S. now. Joe Biden is slated to meet Democratic governors today to reassure them of his competence and address escalating discontent among party leaders. And this, of course, after Texas Congressman Lloyd Dockett became the first Democrat in the House of Representatives to publicly urge the president to just step aside. Now, according to a recent Ipsos Reuters poll, one in three Democrats think that Biden should end his re-election bid. The calls for the president to sit out of the race are prompted majorly by his recent stumbling performance during last week's debate against Donald Trump. In an attempt at damage control, the White House in a statement said that the face-off with Trump was nothing but a bad night for Biden. We understand. We understand. We're not taking away from what you all saw or what the American people saw. We understand. It was a bad night. It is not uncommon for incumbents to have a bad night on their first debate. However, the Ipsos Reuters poll also found that no prominent elected Democratic member would have fared any better than Biden against Trump. Now, if we talk about numbers, both Biden and Trump maintained the support of 40% of registered voters, indicating that Biden has not lost any ground since the CNN debate. As for the other Democrats, only Michelle Obama the former First Lady of the United States outperformed Biden. Michelle Obama led Trump 50% to 39% in a hypothetical matchup. This despite the becoming author maintaining that she does not intend to run for president. And speaking of Vice President Kamala Harris, she trailed Trump by just 1% point. That is 42% to 43%, a difference that lies well within the poll's 3.5% point margin of error. The given statistics show that Harris just is just as strong as Biden. Harris has stepped out of Biden's shadow in recent months, becoming a key voice in the administration for abortion rights. Now, coming to the rising star in the Democrats, we're talking about California Governor Gavin Newsom. He performed marginally worse, trailing Trump 39% to 42%. None of the elected Democrats tested against Trump have formally declared their candidacy with several barely recognized at the national level. The poll, which was conducted online, surveyed 1,070 U.S. adults nationwide.